एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन वी विल सी मेथड्स ऑफ साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन वी विल आल्सो सी मॉडल्स ऑफ साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल ओनली प्रेडिक्ट सिंगल डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बाय यूजिंग सिंगल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बट Simultaneous equation analyze relationship among multiple variables. Here each variable can influence other and be also influenced by others. That means in case of simultaneous equation, variable are jointly determined and jointly determined variable influence each other because their values are simultaneously established. That's why it will be called simultaneous equation. For example, price influence demand and supply. At the same time, demand and supply also influence price. So we can say that prices and quantities are jointly determined. Their values are mutually depend on each other. Means their value can influence each other because their values are simultaneously established. So in such a case, we use simultaneously equation in order to analyze the relationship among them. we have already discussed about ordinary least square method according to assumption of ordinary least square method there is no relationship between independent variable and error term y dependent variable alpha and beta are parameter x is a independent variable e is error term according to ols assumption there is no relationship between x and e that means there is no relationship between independent variable and error term but simultaneous equation uh, violate uh, this assumption how because in case of simultaneous equation variable are jointly determined their values are established uh, simultaneously that's why simultaneous equation violate this assumption of ols that's why we cannot directly apply ols in simultaneous equation because if we apply it will lead to bias and inconsistency but we can apply ols in reduced form because in reduced form we express the dependent variable solely in terms of independent variable now we are going to talk about important method of simultaneous equation first important method is indirect least square method we mainly use indirect least square method in case of just or you can say the exact identify equation just or exact identify equation both are same we have already discussed three type of equation under identified where we have less information than we needed over identified where we have more than necessary information exact identified where we have exact information where we have enough information which we need so we use indirect least square method in case of exact identified equation so we can say that there must be full information about equation in model next thing in order to use this method first of all we transform structured model into reduced form please listen carefully in order to use this method first of all we transform structured model into reduced form that means uh, we are making our model simple we are making our model less uh, complex by removing uh, element which are not so much important and after uh, transforming uh, structure model into reduced uh, form we will apply ols as we earlier discussed we cannot apply ols directly in case of simultaneous equation but we can apply in reduced uh, form because in case of reduced uh, form uh, we express uh, dependent variable solely in, ter in terms of independent variable so we can say that after transforming structure model into reduced form we will apply ols next thing about uh, indirect least square method error term in reduced form should be independent and identical distributed independent error term means error term should not uh, correlated with any another error term identical distribution means error term should have a same statistical properties uh, including same variance and this method is more appropriate if our equations are linear next thing under indirect least square method there should not perfect multicollinearity among uh, exogenous variable exogenous variable means independent variable no doubt under this method independent variable are correlated with each other but there should not be high correlation 
हाई कोरिलेशन कैन क्रिएट सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम सो वी कैन से दैट देयर शुड नॉट परफेक्ट मल्टी कोरिटी अमंग एक्सोजीनियस वेरिएबल अंडर इनडायरेक्ट लिस्ट स्क्वेयर मैथड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू स्टेज लिस्ट स्क्वेयर मैथड दिस मैथड वी कैन यूज इन केस ऑफ बोथ जस्ट आइडेंटिफाइड एंड ओवर आइडेंटिफाइड इक्वेशन एंड दिस मैथड वी यूज टू ऑप्टेन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट प्रोक्सी एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट वेरिएबल for some independent variable which are uh, correlated with error term as we know in case of simultaneously equation independent variable are correlated with error term and uh, this method we use in order to obtain proxy and instrumental variable for some independent variable which are correlated with error term proxy variable we use for substitute of variable that are impossible to observe uh, directly an instrument variable estimate causal relationship when model uh, produce bias the result next thing under this model we applied ols twice under uh, indirect least square method we apply ols only one time but in this method we apply ols twice that's why it is called two stage least square method two stage least square method eliminate bias of a simultaneous uh, equation bias arises in simultaneous equation when we directly apply ols and this method eliminate bias of simultaneous equation and this method is efficient estimator if ols method fail then we apply this method in order to get a consistent estimator this method uses a predetermined uh, variable predetermined variable include both exogenous and endogenous exogenous means uh, uh, independent variable endogenous means dependent variable next important method of simultaneous equation limited information maximum method this method is just like its second stage least square method in both method we can use all predetermined variable a second stage least square method we use in case of both just identified and over identified but limited information maximum likelihood method we use only in case of over identified and this method give a consistent and efficient parameter if sample size is small then this method become biased but if sample size increase then this method provide a consistent result means if sample size large then this method become efficient and consistent so we can say that this method is consistent but biased when sample size is very small now we will see three stage least square method three stage list square method estimate parameter of all equations simultaneously three stage list square method estimate parameter of all equations simultaneously but second stage list square method estimate parameter of equation one by one not simultaneously that's why this method is more efficient as compared to second stage list square method or you can say that this method is extension of a second stage list square method and uh, third stage least square method is more appropriate in case of over identified uh, equation this method utilize information from all equation which obviously lead to more efficient result as compared to second stage uh, least square method now we'll see model of simultaneous equation model of simultaneous equation mainly divided into two part recursive model and non recursive model one by one we we'll discuss about each First of all we are going to talk about recursive model under recursive model causal relationship between variables are one directional under recursive model causal relationship between variables are one directional for example variable a influence variable b but variable b does not directly influence variable a that means there is no feedback loop there is no reciprocal reciprocal influence this is example of recursive model y1 uh, consumption y2 income x is government spending y3 is investment in first equation you can see y1 depend on y2 and x in second equation you can see y2 depend on y1 and x in third equation you can see y3 depend on y2 and x but y3 does not directly or indirectly influence y1 in this equation you can clearly see y3 does not directly or indirectly influence y1 second thing e1 e2 and e3 error terms are not correlated with each other 
E1, E2, E3 error term are not correlated with each other. So this will be called recursive system. So here you can see causal relationship between variables are one directional. There are no feedback loop. There are no reciprocal influence. You can easily solve this. Calculate value of y1. Then put in second equation. Similar calculate value of y2 and put in third equation. You can easily solve because there is no reciprocal influence and feedback loop. So in case of recursive model, relationship between variables is one directional. That means no feedback loop, no reciprocal influence. In case of recursive model, error terms of equations are not correlated with each other. What do you mean by error terms of equations are not correlated with each other? As we know, error terms captures the influence of all unobserved factors. If error terms of equations are not correlated with each other, that means the unobserved factor which influence one equation are independent from unobserved factor which influence other equation. In case of recursive model means recursive model can estimate it by using ordinary least square method but with some condition. Why we can use ordinary least square method in case of recursive model? Because error terms are not correlated with each other. Identification is very easy in case of recursive model but why because there is no feedback loop there is no reciprocal influence that's why identification is very easy in case of recursive model and recursive model provide unique and consistent estimation of parameter but why because recursive model solve problem recursively what do you mean by solving problem recursively when we solve problem recursively, that means we divide a large part into small sub part, then find optimum solution. Now we are going to talk about non recursive model. In case of non recursive model, variable influence each other simultaneously and create a feedback loop and a reciprocal influence. In case of non recursive model, variable influence each other simultaneously and create a feedback loop and a reciprocal influence. For example, if variable x influence y, then y will also influence x. Here you can see recursive model. In this case, you can see causal relationship are in one directional. x1 influence x2, but x2 not influence x1. Similar, x1 influence y1, but y1 don't influence x1. Here you can also see error term E, E1 and E2 are not correlated with each other. Error term E1 and E2 are not correlated in case of recursive model. But in case of non-recursive model, we have reciprocal causal effect. If X2 influence X3, then X3 also influence X2. Similar, if X, uh, Y1 influence X1, then X1 also influence Y1. Second thing, error term E1 and E2 are correlated with each other. So reciprocal relationship and feedback loop exist in case of non-recursive model. Error term in equations are uh, correlated. That means the unobserved factor affect multiple equations simultaneously. Uh, difficulty in estimation, but why? Because of feedback loop and correlation error terms. That's why we use a more advanced technique in case of non-recursive uh, model. For example, we use two-stage least square method in case of non-recursive model. And we use non-recursive model when we need to represent reciprocal relationship in equation. Now we will see interesting equation of non-recursive model. A and B are parameters. Life satisfaction is dependent variable. Social trust is independent variable. Life satisfaction depends on social trust. In second equation, you can see social trust is dependent variable and life or satisfaction is independent variable. That means in second equation, social trust depends on life satisfaction. So we can say that life satisfaction and social trust have a reciprocal relationship. Error term 1 and error, two, error term 2 are correlated with each other. That means unobserved factor which influence life satisfaction and social trust are common or we can say that unobserved factor which influence life satisfaction and social trust are related to each other. So this is all about simultaneous equation. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.